Hey guys, uh, so today I decided to do a chatty get ready with me video. Um, I haven't done a video in a while and especially not one where I'm talking because I'm a bit insecure about the way I sound. I don't know, it just feels a bit weird but I, you know, I thought today I'll just do it. And um, different setup, it's not a plain wall. Uh, this is basically where I put all my shit and my boyfriend hates that I put everything here but too bad. It's all my stuff! Today I'm going to be using some new stuff that I got. I got the Colourpop um, Build Your Own Palette. So I picked up a bunch of pretty colours. Another thing that I bought, uh, I actually got the Neon Eyeliners. So we will probably test out the other three colours today and we'll see how it goes. Okay, first we're going to go with our primer. I am using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is my go-to. Because I don't have a, an, an eye primer, what I do is, as you can already guess it, is I slap this primer on my eyes and all over my face because I do not have eye primer. I know I should invest in one, but I don't have it. <laughs> so for now, we'll just stick with this Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. First, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using my favorite and cheap <laughs> eyebrow pencil. This is from Innisfree. It's the auto brow, auto brow, auto eyebrow pencil, and it's in gray. Um, I used to use shades that were more brown. I'm not sure why. In our Asian, um, you know, line of makeup, especially when it comes to drugstore like Watsons and Guardian, they always sell brown. And you see all these brands that are like Japanese or Korean. I don't know why they sell brown shade when naturally Asians are born with um, black hair so I'm just so glad I found this grey one what I normally do with my eyebrows is I draw a line at the bottom and then I blend it out and then I start to draw strokes very lightly um, so that it looks a bit more natural when you're filling it in instead of just like painting it in so after I'm done with my eyebrows I will actually go in with a old mascara. Um, I highly recommend that you don't do this uh, because there are brow promates out there and brow gels out there that you can actually use. Uh, but me being a cheapskate, I, I just use my old um, mascaras that have sort of dried out a little bit so they're actually not tacky and not thick anymore but they still hold my eyebrows in place. Okay, eyebrows done and we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going down to the city today for fun to go and uh, park tall a bit with my boyfriend. Uh, so I decided that I wanted to do something a bit subtle. We're not going to do something crazy today. But still a bit crazy because I'm not very normal. But <laughs> I really, really want to try out this blue shade. Um, it looks super pretty. And maybe we could mix the blue with pink, um, some orange, I don't know. So first using this color, let's go with the outer first. I like to use big brushes like this when it comes to the first layer because you get to really put a lot of product in, which I love. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time and honestly sometimes when you see my looks on Instagram right I'm just like what am I even doing? I really don't know what I'm doing. I just put on a bunch of colors on my face and hope that it looks pretty and I hope that you guys like it. That's what I do. <laughs> but one thing about me doing all these looks is that most of the time I put it on and I never go out in it so no matter how mild the look is and there's color in my face I tend to not go out in it. I don't know why, it just, I just don't. I know I should, which I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to put on this makeup and I'm going to go out in it. I'm going to embrace it. Yes. I'm going to blend in a bit with the orange shade just to see what it looks like. Um, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but we'll just see what the color looks like. It's actually a very, very pretty orange. Let's see how it plays. I'm going to put it right here. <gasps> oh, pretty! Okay, the orange is not as strong on camera, I think, but in real life, it's actually very, very pretty. I really like it. First, and what I'm gonna do now is before we pack on the blue, I'm gonna put um, some 
concealer. I'm using Tarte Concealer. Uh, this is the Shape Tape. Everybody raves about this concealer, but I personally do not like it. Um, one, because I bought the wrong shade. <laughs> being so smart, I'm so smart. And second being, um, I break out. So I've tried a few times to use this concealer. I, I normally put concealer when I go to work because I've got a lot of scarring on my face. And I break out like crazy after using it. And I really don't like how much I break out from this. But when I use it on my eyes for eyeshadow, it, it works just fine. So using my fingers, I'm gonna go in my pinky and use the blue shade. Um, reason why I'm using my finger is because normally when it comes to glittery shades, whether it's sheen or really heavy glitter, it's normally better to put it on with your fingers for better pigmentation. That's what I've learned uh, throughout the time watching YouTubers do their shit. I think I'm like a clown now. Oh god. That's not too bad. You can't really see it, but you know, it's not too bad. It's actually quite nice. I like the color. I'm just gonna go in with a bit of the pink to blend it a little bit. Uh, just blending it even further. I'm gonna put the orange shade on top here very lightly. So far, I'm loving this look. Loving it. Okay. Cool. We have that more or less sorted out. Let's go in and finish up my face. So normally after I finish my eyeshadow look, I like to go in with the rest of my face and then do the bottom lash and then add on my eyeliner and uh, falsies on. So we are going to do the face now. For the face, I'm extremely basic. Uh, I don't do crazy stuff. Uh, <laughs> Mainly because I don't like to put on foundation, especially when I'm going out shopping. I feel like it's unnecessary. I only put on foundations when I'm going for events or dinners. Um, so when it's like a normal day out, I just normally just go in with my concealer and that is basically it. So two of my favorite concealers is the Maybelline Age Re Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is my everyday go-to. I love it. <laughs> this is in the shade um, medium. And the second one is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. I got this when I attended Rimmel London's launch and I have been using it ever since. So we're gonna go in with the Maybelline um, concealer first. Now I normally use this when it just comes to you know fixing any imperfections and I know a lot of people like to do the whole drawing it on. Um, I prefer to actually uh, blot. This is called blot. Dot? Blot? Dot? I don't know. I just dab. Dab! That's the word. I think that's the word. I dab it in instead. And to blend it in, I normally use this concealer brush. This is from Zoeva. Um, it's their concealer buffer. I feel like it it helps blend the concealer very nicely into my skin. I never used to get pimples when I was in school. Never. And then when I started working in KL, that was when my face just started blowing up. So now I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London concealer. This is just to brighten up my face. So just gonna put it here and underneath my eyes. It's actually not directly underneath because there is a bit of um, eyeshadow there, but we're gonna go over it anyway, so. Just here. So when I'm doing this type of concealing or when I'm putting on my foundation, I actually prefer using this brush. Um, my cousin got this for me. I don't know what it is. It is, I think they call it some like artisan brush or something. I don't know. But it's so good. I really, really like it. Because like, you can either do this, stroke it, or you can just dab. Right, so now we're going to set the face and um, I don't do that baking stuff. I just take too much time and too much unnecessary usage of um, products. Uh, I just normally just go in and just poof, 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 powder all over my face so that my face sets right. This actually sets on very nicely. I just don't like 
I just don't like the um, fragrance to it. It's, it smells funny, um, but it doesn't feel bad. And also, it's not extremely drying, so that's a good thing. Okay, so next we're going to go in with some bronzing. Um, I don't do contouring. Uh, I don't know how to, at least. <laughs> so normally I just go in with this Sephora bronzer. I've been using this forever. I know I should throw it away, but it's not finished yet. I've only hit pan, like, recently. I've had this for a year or two now. Very bad. Don't keep your makeup that long. But I'm a cheapskate and I'm going to keep it until it's, like, completely done. So bronzing her face is actually really good for people who don't know how to do contouring properly. Um, it still adds definition to your face without having to go excessive with the whole contouring thing. I think it's so easy for everyday look. Um, I used to be obsessed with trying to create a very sharp um, nose like Caucasians. I love their nose, especially Nicole Kidman. She's so pretty. I don't think about contouring my nose anymore. I think of just, you know what, I'm just gonna highlight it and it's just gonna pop. I don't really need to contour it. It's not necessary unless I'm going for a very drastic change in what I want to look like. So, because the color is so bright on my eyes, I'm going in with a much lighter blush. This is the Tarte Party... Party? Party blush. That's how you spell it. Um, I'm gonna go in with this because it's actually very very light. It's more translucent. It's not super pigmented and I don't need to use a lot of product to actually get the color. Um, it's more of a product where you build up on and yeah, it's just very light and we don't need that crazy pink shade on our face. I realize blushing your nose is a very Asian thing to do. It's not a very Caucasian thing. I think it's because it adds that cute look to it. <laughs> I think it makes my nose look a bit better because it's actually a very freaking flat nose, so that's why. Um, but that's it. I think it's a bit too pinked out. I think I went overboard with the blush, but it's not too bad. Okay, so now that I've done on my face, I'm just going to go in with the bottom lash with the same shades that we used earlier. Okay, so I put in the orange really lightly and close to my waterline here. Um, I decided not to put the blue at the bottom as well because then I realized it's going to look like this and then it's going to look a bit clownish, especially with the colors. So I said, you know what? No, not today. Not today. We're not doing that today. <laughs> you don't want to look like a clown today. Um, so I just put in a bit of the orange and you know what? I'm going to go in with more glitter because why not? So I'm going to go in with this very glittery shade. It's a um, duochromatic shade and I've not tried it yet so... We're going to try to put it maybe a bit on top of the blue. I hope it doesn't cover the blue. So we're going to try that. I'm going to just take a little tiny bit. That's not a little bit. That's actually quite a lot. I don't think you can see it, but it's on this finger and it's so, so soft. Um, I didn't have to put pressure into it. I just dabbed dipped on it, and bam, this came out. Okay, let's just try, maybe just the top part. No, let's just, dab. Okay, nothing came out. <gasps> oh, I can see it falling off though. Like, getting on my shirt. Okay, so far so good. Ooh, I'm shiny. Okay, um, I don't know if you can really see it. I don't think you can. I hope you can because this is actually very, very pretty. It's very light. I look a bit more like a clown now, but that's fine. So the eyes are almost done. I'm going to go in with the eyeliner off camera. Okay, before we go in with the falsies, I'm going to try the neon eyeliners. I don't know how these are going to work out, but I think what I'm going to try is to do pink, pink, and then go in with a bit of the orange just to see how it looks like. And if the orange doesn't look too good, then we can just cover it all up with the pink. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of doing some neon freckles. Mm. Yeah, 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do some neon freckles with this too. Okay, I like this. We're going in. I'm just gonna... Maybe I should do this and then put some brown shades as well so that it looks a bit more natural. I'm using a brown eyebrow pencil just to go in and create that freckled look. It's very natural. Um, definitely don't use black because that's just going to make you look like you're crazy freckle that isn't very natural. Okay, cool. So now I've got my faux freckles, which is neon and also brown. Um, I'm just going to go in off camera and put on some falsies and then we're going to come back with some highlighter. Okay, so I've got my falsies on. I'm just going to go in with some mascara on the bottom lash. Um, I know a lot of people put mascara with um, the falsies on, but I realized that just doesn't really serve a purpose for me because my eyelashes are really naturally curled and um, it also uh, shortens the lifespan of my falsies so I tend not to put mascara on um, once I have my falsies but we're just going to put some at the bottom Okay, now we're going to go in with the highlighter Okay, so we're going to go in and finish up the look with some highlighter I am using my go-to Dion Butte Malaysia's um, highlighter this is their low-key shady AF highlighter and it is amazing. And I am never turning back. It is my go-to highlighter and I tell you it will stain your white sheets if you ever do makeup on the bed. So stay away. I stained my best friend's um, rug and don't. Don't risk it. And the best thing about this is that you don't actually have to use a lot of product. I don't even use from the tub itself. I actually just use it off the cover. So you don't need a lot of product and this has lasted me for quite a while now. I have a nose now guys. So we are done with the face. I'm just going to go in with some setting spray. I'm using my favorite. This is the NYX uh, Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Um, this My makeup lasts forever with the setting spray on. I love it. Okay, so now it's time for lipstick. Uh, I don't know what color I'm going to do yet because the eyes are already so bright, so maybe we're just going with something a bit more nude-ish. Okay, so this is one of my favorite Lime Prime lipsticks. This is in the shade Saint. You can never go wrong with Lime Prime. It's beautiful. Done! Um, I'm super loving this look, actually. It's quite cute. My highlight is so strong that my ring light is actually reflecting on my nose. It makes it look like I have a circle on my nose. I actually don't have a circle on my nose. It actually looks like this, but when I come closer, the ring light is reflecting on my highlight. That's how great my highlight is, guys. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's something different. I don't... I don't do this a lot and um, if you like it, please like the video. Um, I decided to upload this on YouTube instead because why not? You know, I thought I'll try it out. Um, so yeah, if you like it, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. So um, if you guys like it, I'll probably come up with more videos and uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out and have a good day with my boyfriend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!